Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of the MP15 and MP16 Transformers that I received today. Um, MP15 being Rumble and Jaguar and MP16 Frenzy and Buzzsaw. Uh, but to me, I don't care what they say, the blue one will always be Rumble and he'll always be Frenzy. <laughs> so there's a whole backstory to how that mix-up occurred um, that I won't bother going into here but um, I grew up with a cartoon and that's just the way I'll always view them so I'll just get these out of the way so I can better focus these guys really are another technical engineering feat by Takara They're... the transformation itself is simple um, but really elegant um, unfortunately for these guys, um, they couldn't integrate the weapons directly into the transformation like they did with Buzzsaw and Laserbeak and Ravage. But other than that, um, just the articulation, um, paintwork, um, how you attach the weapons and so on, is, uh, yeah, just amazing. And you can attach these uh, pile drivers to his arms. Um, I won't bother doing that yet. I haven't actually looked at the instructions to see how that's done. Uh, but there's that option there. And you get the blue ones for Rumble. But what I will do is um, just quickly go through uh, the transformation for Ravage and uh, Rumble. Uh, I've done a previous video with um, the transformation of Laserbeak, which is identical to Buzzsaw here. Um, and that's probably one of the best transformations I've ever seen. So with Ravage, uh, what you do is you flick out this little knob here, which ends up being his nose. And you flick these out to form his head. Mine's got a slight... No, oh, it's not too bad now where it wasn't really um, clicking in together properly, but now it doesn't seem to be too bad. And I don't know if you can get a good look at his head there. Um, and then you just f sort of lift these up and flick his legs out. Flick those up and lift his legs out. The first few times you do the transformation, the, the joints are pretty tight. Uh, but now they're not too bad at all. Um, so you can do that. I think uh, the next bit is to just flick out his tail and fold those forward. And that clicks together. Those are his hind legs. Um, this was a point of um, this joint here. Uh, was a bit tight and caused a few people some problems and breakages but um, just need to be a bit gentle and you just fold that down like that and then you fold his head forward and that gives you that cat arch if you want to call it that fold those down fold that down and now you start to get a feel for the way he's going to look um, these you just rotate until the Decepticon symbols on the outside. Fold them down. And rotate those. Oops. Rotate. I just rotated that. Sorry guys, i got to get used to this uh, camera and keeping everything actually actually in the frame. sort of do the pose him how you want with his legs and that is pretty much it so compared to the G1 um, original uh, which I do have on the shelf but I won't bother getting him um, just the width of him and that stance is well looks straight out of the cartoon to me and is pretty awesome so you can put him in some great leaping poses and so on 
and the transformation for these guys is uh, pretty much just as good and simple. So you just lift those up, um, fold those legs down. The only tricky part is really extending um, his legs out, which you sort of try and do on this weird little joint. And just try and make it so that that's fairly level. Um, and again, as with all the other masterpiece figures, I'm probably only going to do this this one last time um, and leave it at that. So turn those around, flick his legs down, uh, his feet. So you see that. Move his arms all the way down, and you can flick his hands out. Head, turn around, and there's a little thing you can dig your nail in and flick his head out and turn it around. And there you have Rumble. Um, and he has articulation pretty much everywhere. His ankles are, are you can rotate them on the ball joint, his legs, um, his knee joint, his arms elbows and his head so um, and these little weapons they've got a little transformation gimmick themselves when the joint is like that um, that's when you can click it on his back or you just clip it forward like that and it becomes his pistol so that was a nice little touch um, other than that, there's not much more to show. Um, with the MP figures, you know, you normally get these cards. Uh, this time, I actually got the um, coins. I don't have coins for any of the other MP figures, so I'll probably just put these in storage. Um, the instruction books, the cassette cases. So that's pretty much it. Um, Hope you guys liked that quick look. Um, I think these were selling out pretty fast, so if you uh, want to get them, uh, you can, I think you can still get them from Robot Kingdom or Big Bad Toy Store. So they're definitely a, a worthy addition, um, and they're pretty much a must-have if you've got Soundwave. So um, yeah, hope you guys had, liked that quick look, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll be doing the uh, DX11 review. Uh, just after this one, so stay tuned for that one. Thanks, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.